my name is Paul Beavis and I work at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre and I have an MBCF postdoctoral fellowship. So I, I have some connections with uh, like family history of cancer, not breast cancer specifically itself, but um, a lot of the research we do is applicable to many cancer types and being working at the Peter Mac, we come into contact with patients all the time and see the kind of devastating impact it can have on patients all the time and, and that's why part of the reason why I became an MBCF fundraiser myself um, and it's great being involved with the MBCF and seeing the positive effects that this research can have. Our research background is coming from um, using the immune system to fight cancer. Um, so the immune system has evolved to actually fight cancers and um, certain cancers have um, adapted to suppress the immune response against cancer. So um, what we try and do in our lab is try and utilise the immune system as a specific tool to eliminate cancer cells. We're already achieving some nice preclinical results um, from our MBCF funded work and so we're, we had that recently published and we're hoping to kind of progress that into a clinical trial in the future um, in collaboration with some of the kind of breast cancer oncologists we have at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre. Um, I think the biggest uh, challenge for most researchers would be uh, funding, um, particularly as young researchers um, in this field it can be particularly challenging to get funding for our work which is why the MBCF is so um, great because it funds kind of high risk, high reward projects um, that probably wouldn't get funding through conventional schemes. So when people find out that I'm a scientist researching breast cancer, um, they're obviously always really interested to know whether the, the, we found the cure and, and how things are going. So um, we often just keep them updated with what's going on in the lab and actually getting that feedback from, from people outside of the lab, it's really important for keeping us going and keeping us motivated for what we're doing. MBCF funding is absolutely vital for um, achieving our research goals, so me myself being on a fellowship pays for my salary, so um, without this funding I'm, I wouldn't be working on this project. Um, so in terms of the biggest uh, research breakthrough in breast cancer, it's hard to single out uh, one, but um, I guess identifying the subtypes of breast cancer so that we can come forward with treatments like um, Herceptin. Um, increased screening has probably saved thousands of lives by detecting cancer earlier. Um, and in my particular field as an immunologist, um, identifying that chemotherapy and radiotherapy works by engaging the immune system has really opened up a whole new field. Attaining zero deaths by 20, 2030 is a, definitely a really high aspiration to get towards. So it's 15 years away and in the last 15 years we've made tremendous leaps um, in, in terms of patient care, di um, diagnosis and treatment. Um, so I th would expect in the next 15 years we're going to see a similar um, advancement in all of those aspects. So to all the fundraisers for MBCF and other supporters, um, I just first of all say thank you, like the work you do is amazing and just um, keep going. Like in terms of the funding that you provide, that's absolutely essential, but, but also the motivation that it gives all of the research community to keep on going and finding a cure is absolutely incredible.